Go out to hop up at the shelf for me You ain't the bed when no one else is up I thought that you would need some help for me But mama, you ain't even helping yourself Go out to hop up at the shelf for me Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen Prince. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you did so, you're interested to see how I did my hair and I'm going to show you guys soon, but please make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to give you some tips on maintenance and how to um, do some other things as far as partying and things like that, like how I parted my hair and how many twists are in each row so you can just get a feel of the density of my hairstyle. So if you want to see how I did my hair, then please stay tuned.
Okay guys, so let's get into the maintenance for this style now. I'll put an eye card up of how I sleep with my hair so you guys can see how exactly I sleep with these twists. So the next day when you take your hair out of your scarf, naturally the hair start to like condense. They start to smash down. So when I um, get ready to go out for the day, I like to go ahead and just re-fluff some of my twists just to give them, you know, give it more of that fluffy look. And I like to just, you know, just like you did in the beginning, pull the twist apart. Okay, pull the twist apart just like you did to like give it that deconstructed boho type of look, okay? So this style will last you probably, I'll say, maybe two to three weeks max. Um, it's a quick style. It's a cheap style. Um, I've worn my hair just with the twist like this before without this in the front. And I usually wear it for about a month. After a month, I'm taking it out. So... I feel like a month is a good time depending on how you care for the style now i will say this don't be don't over manipulate like don't be rough with it i don't want to say don't over manipulate because you can re-fluff and stuff like that but don't be too rough with your hair that's with any hairstyle you want longevity you're gonna have to just care for it just a little bit more okay so just care for it is it worth it yes Okay, so before you start your hair, I do recommend that you may want to start on blow dried hair because this hair is not like tightly wound. It's not like braided tight. So um, it's a very loose style. So you may see your hair start to pop out, you know, every now and then. Um, so I feel like if your hair is blow dried, then it will match better with the texture of the braiding hair. Another thing. If you can't find the exact hair that I use and you want to try this style, when you go to choose your um, braiding hair, don't buy any of the silky braiding hair. The reason why I like to use the um, original type of braid hair, the yakky texture filling braiding hair, is because it's a little bit more fluffy and when it's more fluffy, it gives the appearance of like this airy look of the twist and it makes them seem larger without having all that extra added hair. So. If you want to do the silky hair, that's fine. You may need more hair. It may be heavier and it may not fluff out as big as um, the other type of texture hair. So be careful with that. I say stay away from the silky um, hair when you're trying to achieve a style that looks like this. You want to get that original Conecalon type hair, okay? Also, when you're looking for a synthetic hair, um, you can use any synthetic hair you want. But stay away from tightly coiled, tightly curly synthetic hairs. Then you're gonna have a problem on your hands. You're gonna have excessive tangling. It's gonna, it's gonna mat up on you. Stay away from that stuff. Like I mentioned before, I've worn this out twice before. And when you use um, like the looser curl pattern of synthetic hair, it doesn't tangle up on itself like that. You're not about to be fighting with your hair. So looser curl or wave or anything like that use those type of hairs choose whatever style you want it doesn't have to be the same particular curl pattern in this video like when i did my hair the other times i used like a body wave type of hair and it was very pretty it was a loose um synthetic body wave it's bulk braiding hair you can use bulk braiding hair you don't have to cut your hair off of a weft you can use the um bulk synthetic braiding hair that you usually find in a um, beauty supply so you know, be creative. Put your own twist on it. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. It's still gonna look pretty, promise. Okay, so let's get into parting. So when I parted my hair, I wanted to make sure that I started my part behind my ear, from ear to ear, behind the ear, just so that that um, twist that's connected to the little connecty can go behind my ear. Now, if you want something more forward, of course you can bring your um, initial ear to ear parting forward, but I wanted mine to kind of just fall back and just lay like this in the back. So I parted my behind my ear. Do what you please, this is your head, okay? Do your hair how you want it to look. I'm just, <laughs> you know, telling you guys how I did my hair. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna explain to you guys how I parted my hair and how many of those individual synthetic hairs that I put on each why am I doing this? How many of those individual synthetic hairs I put on each twist? So I'm gonna put that information on the screen. So please read the screen. You don't have to do how I did, but this is just a note just so some people may wanna know. So read the screen, everything is gonna be on there, but I am gonna show you, you know, the rows and stuff like that. Okay, here we go.
you treat me like I need car to carry dead and buried myself back okay you guys so I hope I pretty much covered everything as always if you have any questions about this style please leave those questions down in the comment section so if i forget anything i usually like to pin a comment in my comment section and put any notes in there that i may have forgot to mention in the video so always check my comment section i'm always like updating like the hairstyle in there and yes you guys that is pretty much it thank you for watching my video um i will see you guys later Bye.